Right then, it's ten past nine on Saturday night. This is the top end of Aston Lock. City centre's that way. That building there is the university. That way takes me up to Gravelly Hill. This is all about killing two birds with one stone. I have to be in Great Whirly. Oh, so I can never pronounce that name. Tomorrow morning to pick some stuff up. I'm feeling a bit restless. I thought I'd walk up overnight. Mostly canal, so I'm gonna have to be careful. It's a decent moon tonight. If this cloud goes away, I should have a fair bit of natural light in. Got the uh, beast in its stripped down form. No sleeping bag tonight because I need the room to put the stuff in that I'm picking up in Great Whirly tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be about 8 degrees tonight. I'm probably going to have to find a place to lie down later, but I got a bedroll. So I'll probably do a couple of layers of clothes. Proper hobo style today. I haven't got to be in Great Whirly till half past nine. So I do need a few hours sleep, even me. Or I will be uh, looking very rough when I meet these people. Right, it's time to get going. Things just got a little more interesting. Just caught the weather and there's gonna be light rain tonight, which I sort of expected because it's been a bit of a squirrely day. I'll have to be careful uh, if I do bed down somewhere, pick my spot really well. The sleeping bag can handle a little bit of drizzle. But I ain't got it. <laughs> Just some uh, raw facts. I'm walking from Birmingham. It's pretty much Cannock, which I estimate, if I stay on the canal, it's probably an eight hour walk at this pace. I'm not gonna rush. I got all night. So eight hours walking, a couple of hours sleep. This works out just about right. I could probably cut some time off by getting on the road from Walsall. But I'd rather stay on the canal if it's gonna be an half decent night. And I'm up for it. Because I'm wide awake again. <laughs> Dear. Wind's died down a bit. Clouds buggered off. Moon's come out. It's getting there. The other benefit to this as well is I've not walked up one section of this canal before, so it'll be all brand new for me. Which is sweet. In one way. In the other way I don't know what to expect. As in the way of terrain, random groups of violent drunks. <laughs> It's all good. Made it up to Spaghetti Junction. Just gonna cut under it now. Cloud has completely gone away, thanks to the nice wind. Moon's out, lighting my path quite nicely. Now, I need to get the right canal here, or it's gonna be a longer night than I thought. I think it's up. Down, across, I can't remember. Where are you? Yeah, it's that way, isn't it? Because that way takes me to Erdington. And that way should take me up to Harry Barway, something like that. I have to find a signpost. I know there's one around you somewhere. Damn that section of uh, canal underneath Spaghetti Junction, walking out this way. Very spooky, very dark. Way too long. Back on the uh, normal canal now, thank God. It's time to set a pace. Ah, oh, just saw my first bat of the night. Time to get a pace on. It's not going to tire me out too much. And still allow me to churn up the miles. It's going to be a bit of a problem because I dropped something stupidly heavy on the back of my right foot. 
earlier on today. It's no damage, but I think it's going to bruise badly. Hopefully that will be uh, sorted by the morning, one way or another. Time to go. I so love overnight walking. So it's the thing about the dark. I think that's why I like wild camping so much. The darker the better. It's just coming up to half past eleven, about that. I don't know if you can see that just through the trees. That's Birmingham. I don't really have much of a clue where I am at the moment. I know that way is north by the stars. I don't think I'm that far outside Warsaw. Not looking how far away Birmingham is. But it's still a decent trek. On the other side of Warsaw. And I'm just warming up. Found some nice tunes on the radio, which unfortunately I have to turn off for this because YouTube will YouTube will batter me with another privacy notice like they did before, even though it was only background music. Uh, privacy, sorry, copyright. Uh, uh, another addition. I may have said it was Saturday night at the beginning of the video, but it is actually Friday. Well, that's okay, because I don't really know what day or month or year it is most of the time, anyway. Oh, I've seen loads of places to sleep. Loads of nice little places just off the canal. Although I'm not ready yet, by a long shot. There's bound to be more. All right. Let's keep going. It's a beautiful night. Got little patches of cloud come across every now and again. No rain yet, which is good. But I can see it happening tonight at some point. As long as it's not too heavy, I don't care. I found Warsaw Road, so I got off the canal because it sort of makes more sense at this point. It's more of a straight for route because the canal sort of meanders around to where I want to be. And if I miss the uh, other exit, I'll be screwed. I'm pretty sure this is Great Bar, leading to Perry Bar. I remember coming up here years ago for a Radio One party in the park. I watched uh, Goldie Looking Chain actually not swear live on stage, which is quite good because it was being recorded. I oh, know it was live for Radio One, so. They managed to get through a whole song without swearing. And if you know Goldie Looking Chain, you'll understand what an achievement that actually is. I think I've got about another hour probably on this road till I hit Warsaw proper. And then I've got to find the train station because the canal's right by it. It's about 12 o'clock. It's probably just gone. Seen loads of drunk people falling about on their way home, dropping their takeaways everywhere. It's always amusing. Temperatures dropped again. Wind's all right though. I think it's going to be a good night. Coming up to ten past one in the morning. I'm still on this bloody road. <laughs> God damn, it's a long road too straight as well I've always seen to Warsaw though it's quite amusing I spent what, two and a half hours on the canal I didn't see a soul to the contrast of every person who's walked past me on this road going back the other way has asked me for a smoke or looked at me weirdly because the music's playing it's warmed up which is pretty good moon's gone cloud cover warm things up a little bit I have the
craving for some real junk food though. Changed my diet recently. Because uh, my my diet's got bad. So I've gone back. I've cut out crisps and takeaways. And I've been eating a lot of fruits. Vegetables. All the good stuff. But right now I'd kill for a KFC. I doubt I'm going to find one open this time of morning. Or anything near. Maybe in Birmingham. Oh, I know there's a few places in Birmingham. But I've never really been out late at night in Warsaw, so I don't know. Well, I won't be hanging around too much. So I've still got a fair bit of walking to do. The pain on my right ankle's gone away. Which is the, the, the best outcome. As it was killing me earlier. Back of my legs are burning a bit though. I've been walking for four hours now. I've probably got about another three to get to where I want to sleep. Close to where I want to be tomorrow. This don't look like much of a hill. It's gradual. But it's bloody long. At least the pack's getting lighter now. I've consumed most of the water and a bit of food be interesting to see what Warsaw is like this time of night should be fun it's uh, 10 to 2 in the morning this is the quiet side of Warsaw although there is something going on up there quite surprised a few pubs still open actually walk down the, uh, the takeaway street, every town's got one, managed to walk past a few kebab places and a pizza place without eating anything, so I'm quite pleased with that, i got enough good food on me, I don't need, well I do need, but <laughs> my, I, my brain needs it but my body doesn't, there's one pub I quite fancy the look of, but they had bouncers on the door and trying to get in a pub with that is just too much of a nightmare I've got some radio gear on me as well I'm trying to explain what that is as well would be impossible that light rain they promised has finally arrived it's very light though there's nothing to worry about at this point the canal starts back up there I'm trying to remember if that's the right bloody way. I'll check the road signs before I get on the canal. I think I'm pretty much sure that's where I should be going. This rain has made it a bit more difficult to uh, find a place to sleep tonight. I don't really sleep, fancy sleeping under a canal bridge or anything like that. But with this, this light rain, even a good tree will do for a few hours. I don't mind getting a bit damp, I can walk it off in the morning. Right, that's enough resting or I'll just stay here tonight. Time to get going again. The mixture of uh, Dead Reckoning and what I saw on Google Maps earlier. Thank God for a photographic memory. I've now made my way out of Warsaw and I'm at a junction. And I know that way goes to Wolverhampton. And I know I need to keep right. So that's where I need to go. It's a really windy walk. The sun up's not too far away. So I need to crack on. Get some miles sorted. And find a place to kip. out of the way where nobody's going to see me even if the sun comes up I can stay there for a few hours and chill out still not that tired um, it's not good but I do need some sleep today so I've got stuff to do later alright let's get it sorted everything's content so is a little bit of drama about half an hour ago, I walked under uh, 
a road bridge that crosses the canal. And three guys on a bike, on one bike, three guys stopped, shouted something. Two of them got off and walked down onto the canal behind me. And the other one sat there on the bike. Which I didn't like. So I got off at the next bridge. Found myself a nice street lamp. And stood under that. I'll meet them on my own terms, not on a dark bloody towpath. About 20 minutes later, they all come past on the bike and flashed the V's and shouted something and that's the last I've seen of them. So I'm back on the canal now. The birds are uh, kicking off, which means daylight's not too far away. I have no idea where I am. I'm afraid I'm going to overshoot the mark slightly. But there is a tail block up there that looks really familiar. So, next piece of flat dry under a tree land I find I'm going to make use of yeah the main reason why I'm up here is I'm a, bit, I'm a nerd a proper nerd on top of all this camping and whatever else I do and the one functioning radio shop in the Midlands is in Great Worley I mean everything else is closed over the years and I need some stuff. I've got £300 to spend on juicy, nice, shiny radio gear. And they'll be quite happy to see me tomorrow. I've already spoke to them, so... I have a rough idea of what I want, and I know what they, they have in stock, second hand and new. Oh, this isn't looking good. There were some really sweet places back there. Get some distance between me and the idiots on the bike. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for any violence today. Just want to chill now. It's just coming up to five o'clock in the morning. I found a little place off, right off the towpath. Check the ground for needles. All the usual crap, which is unlikely out this way, this far out, but still got to check. Junkies don't like to walk too far. I had my eye on a spot by the edge of a pond. And as I walked round, I realised there was like four or five fishermen there. <laughs> they weren't too happy to see me. If I'd thrown my stuff down and just crashed on the floor next to him, I, I don't think they would have uh, accepted that. I've had a nice crop of trees, dealing with most of the wind. I'm all layered up. I'm just going to chill here, have a couple of hours, and then find out where the hell I am. I resisted the emergency chocolate that's in the rucksack. Wish the birds had shut up though. Still, it's sort of quite nice. It's nice to get off my feet. I've been walking for eight hours without a rest. I'll feel good tomorrow. Maybe not today, but definitely tomorrow. Right, that's it for me. Time to get a few Z's. Right, let's do the maths. Fell asleep at five o'clock in the morning. And I woke up five minutes ago at 6.25. So I've had one hour, 25 minutes sleep. Wow. <laughs> Damn you brain. I wasn't even that cold. I did dribble over my rucksack though, so it must have been a good hour. Ah, I was hoping for a bit more. Seriously. 
I'm awake now, almost swallowing. <laughs> Not good. I'm wide awake now. Well, at least I've got a couple of hours till this shop opens. Get myself together. Find some coffee. Need coffee. I finally cracked and I've gone for the emergency chocolate bonus point if we can work out what it was or what it is <laughs> as I was saying yesterday I really think I've, I've gone past where I should have been easy to do in the dark I'm going to walk up to the next bridge cross over find somebody with a brain or at least half a brain find out where the hell I am and get some coffee that's actually quite a nice stretch of canal I use all the selection of graffiti on the bridges right let's get going there's radio gear to be bought Money to be spent. At least my sense of direction hasn't failed me. That says Whirly Wheelie Whatever Whirly Grove Bridge. Which means I'm in Whirly Grove. Which by all the laws of physics should be attached to Great Whirly. Ha <laughs> ha Question is do I stay on the canal or do I see what that busy road over there is like and whether it's walkable because I think I should be going that way mm. decisions decisions it is a nice canal though a pleasure to walk up but I'm almost there civilization cracking uh, I'm going to have a look at this road. Definitely. See you in a bit. Things are starting to come together. I've just recognised a road name from the Google Maps and printed in my brain. And I did overshoot the uh, where I was supposed to get off on the canal last night. So I'm backtracking. It's not far. Uh, I think, as I remember, it's about a mile, mile and a half. Down a nice little lane. Time's looking good, it's about 8 o'clock. Get some uh, coffee, get something to eat. Go and find this shop. I have been here before, but caught the bus up last time. Train and bus. Obviously the easier way than sleeping in, you know, in the woods somewhere for an hour. <laughs> it was raining quite a bit a while ago, but it's eased off again now. It's starting to warm up, or I'm starting to warm up, either one. I don't care. Just looking forward to buying some nice radio gear. Ah, result. Right, I'm going to leave this video here because the rest of it is just me eating and being a nerd. And that is a completely different YouTube channel. See ya.